In this lesson, I'm going to insert a PDF file and make some changes to it using tools inside of AutoCAD. PDFs are attached as an underlay. You can use your object snaps when working with an underlay if you have your settings correct and the underlay file was created correctly. I'm going to use some of the more advanced options for the chamfer and fillet tools. I'll copy some drawing objects from one drawing to another. And I'll finish with the overkill command, one of my favorite tools inside of AutoCAD. Overkill eliminates overlapping lines to help you clean up your drawings. This is especially helpful if you have inserted external references in your drawing, which is one way overlapping lines can occur. To insert the PDF file, I select the Insert tab. I select the Attach tool. I set my files of type to PDF. I select the PDF file I want to use. I click Open. I accept the defaults to insert the PDF at the origin with a rotation of 0 and scale of 1. I click OK. The PDF is inserted. I select the PDF. I toggle Enable Snap for PDF On on the ribbon. I want to modify the schematic. I select the Line tool from the Draw panel on the Home tab. I place a couple of lines. Notice that I can use the Endpoint Snap to select the endpoints of existing lines in the PDF underlay. I can create a corner using the Fillet tool by holding down the Shift key on the keyboard. By holding down the Shift key, I override the radius value, so I don't need to set the radius value on my fillet to zero. I select the Fillet tool from the Modify panel on the Home tab. I right-click and select Radius. I set my radius to 0.5. I select one line. I hold down the Shift key and select a second line that is perpendicular to the first line. And I created a corner without having to change my radius to zero. I'm going to switch to another drawing and attach an XREF. I type XREF to open the XREF Manager. I select Attach Drawing. I locate the AutoCAD drawing I want to attach. I accept the defaults to insert the PDF at the origin with a rotation angle of 0 and scale of 1. I click OK. Once again, I can snap to the endpoints inside of the XREF to place some additional wire lines. I select the Rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. I draw two more lines using the midpoint of the top of the rectangle and the midpoint of the bottom of the rectangle. I want to chamfer the rectangle using the Polyline option and with No Trim enabled. The Chamfer tool is located in the flyout under the Fillet tool. I select the Chamfer tool from the Modify panel on the ribbon. I right click and select Trim. I select the No Trim option. I right click and select Polyline to select the Polyline option. I right click and set the start distance to 0.1 and I set the second distance to 0.1. I select the rectangle. The chamfers are placed. Notice that the corners are not trimmed. I right-click and select Repeat Chamfer. I right-click and select Trim. I select the Trim option. I right-click and select the Multiple option. This allows me to continue placing chamfers until I press Enter to exit the command. I select some lines to be chamfered. I place two chamfers using the Trim method. I press Enter to exit the chamfer command. I'm going to place a few more lines. I want to demonstrate how to use fillet on parallel lines. I place two parallel lines. I can use the fillet to close or cap the ends. I select the fillet tool from the modify panel on the home tab. I right click and select multiple. I select the two parallel lines. An arc is added to cap the lines. I can place an arc at either end of the two parallel lines. I press Enter to exit the fillet command.
I want to copy and paste from one drawing to another. I window around the chamfered rectangle I just created. I right click and select Clipboard, Copy with Base Point. I select the midpoint at the bottom of the rectangle as my base point. I switch to my target drawing. This is the drawing with the PDF underlay. I right click and select Clipboard Paste. I select a location to place the geometry. One of my favorite tools in AutoCAD is Overkill. Overkill deletes overlapping lines. I switch over to my Overkill drawing. I type Overkill. I type All to select everything in the drawing to be inspected. I press Enter. A dialog opens. I have enabled Combine Collinear Objects, which means that if two lines overlap but extend out away from each other, they will be combined into a single line, similar to the Join command. I click OK. Look by the command prompt to see how many overlapping lines were deleted. If you miss that message, just press F2 to expand the command prompt window. In this lesson, I demonstrated the ability to use object snaps in external references and underlays. I reviewed some of the more advanced options in chamfer and fillet, like multiple and polyline. I showed you how to use the shift key to create a corner using fillet. The shift method allows you to retain whatever radius value you are using in fillet. Copy with base point allows you to copy objects from one drawing to another. Finally, I showed you how to use the overkill tool to eliminate overlapping lines in your drawing.